Welcome to this another tutorial. Today I'm explaining the par touched block. The same you can do with par touched end and explosion hit. So first of all we need a part that fires the function if it's getting touched. So for this I have this part here. The output, the other part, is basically the part that is getting hit. So if I would make a print now with the variable hit and play, it would give me like left leg, right leg and stuff like that. And it would also do this for uh, parts. I don't know if I can. I would now insert a part here and Move it on there. Should give me the part as a print. Now you could like do stuff like if the part let's, let's just move part on top of that. And let's delete the weld. So here we could just do set object property like the hit that we output here. And like Quick color to like green. This would then change the color of the part if it's touching it. Now, what if you want to do something with the cherry or NPC that touches this block? First of all, we would need to check if it's actually um, character model. For that, we will do a find first child. With the hit dot parent, so for the loop here, for example, if the hit part would be the left leg, the parent would be the loop, and if we then check if inside of this parent is a humanoid, can also output it here if we want. The connected blocks will only run because the find first child only wants the connected blocks if it finds the object. So if everything after everything after this runs if there is a humanoid. So we know it's a dummy or a player character. Then we could like to set object property of the humanoid that we are outputting here. Like walk speed to like 50 or something. So if I would walk now on this, I have normal speed and now I'm getting fast. So, how would you get a player from a touched event? So, we'll just let it here. And if I now do get player from character, can now the humanoid.parent or hit.parent, I will just use humanoid. If we now say here like PLR for the player, oh, let's just use player. And then we just make an if statement. Then if the player is not null, then we can do stuff like, what could we do, I don't know, could like do set object, yeah, and we can just print a player for now. Maybe if you have something stored on the player GY you could do stuff like that. But I don't have anything ready for that, so I just say player. So if I play now, touch this, it would give my player instant as output. Now if I would move this down here, I hope it's oh god, oh god, oh god, that's not good. It's not printing anything. I think the yeah, do you know what? Yeah, it's not printing anything. So I just had to pause the recording because of something. If I have now like two teams and teams like blue and one that is, I don't know, that blue. And we could do like set up 
property of the player team color to the to this one I think it was if I would touch this now my team color would change to the other one now that's pretty much everything I can say about this so it's like the same you can do with a part touched end it just fires when the part touched end but it still gives the part out that touched it at the end and if you use explosion it you just insert direct an explosion instance as a variable and you get the same part, the output part that touched it and also a distance yeah, you could do like distance stuff too you know if we remove this stuff here and we have the character again we could get the object property of touch the the, to hit the, the, the this part that we want to fire stuff when it's getting touched and the position wait is there actually no then we move that so as I say point one now we do the same with point two but we use here hit the part to touch I could do distance between points, point one, point two, distance, then we could like print that, or we could actually, yeah, we, uh, we just do that, if I make this now a little bit bigger, We can just get the distance from like this leg to the center of the part. If I get closer, it's just getting smaller. I don't know for what you could use that. Maybe you could do this like for. I don't know. <laughs> I actually know. That was pretty much the tutorial. Kind of long for just a single plot, but I don't really care. So I hope you, that helped you a little bit with part touch blog, and have a nice day. Bye bye.